Hi Ari, it's Travson here and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we drank some rum, we slayed some pirates for their hats, and we also unlocked the captain's chest and got some treasure inside. And that treasure was a new gun. And that gun is called the Sniper Rifle of Stamina and has replaced the Master's Hunter's Rifle. It's kind of a shame that we replaced that rifle, but it's going to happen in due time. But today, we are going to check out the wanted poster here in Gadgetstan. Wanted Khalif Scorpion Sting. The Gadgetstan Water Company of Gadgetstan Tanaris will pay a high bounty for the head of Khalif Scorpion Sting, leader of the Waste Wander Outlaws. His crimes include murdering Gadgetstan Water Company employees, stealing Gadgetstan Water Company resources, seizing Gadgetstan Water Company property. Bring proof of Khalif Scorpion Sting's demise to Chief Engineer Bill Dwizzle for an immediate award. All right, let's check out the next one. Wanted, Andre Firebeard. The vile pirate Andre Firebeard is wanted for crimes against Steamweedle and Gadgetstan. By decree of governing council, any who read this are hereby authorized to use lethal force during the apprehension of Andre and his abettors. By further decree, should Andre be de deceased or otherwise indisposed during the time of his hearing, his head may act as proxy and deliverance of such head to security chief Bilgewizzle constitutes a binding and tenorable contract. Bring Andre's head to security chief Bilgewizzle and steam needle pool. All right, so those are some interesting wanted posters. So let's get these uh, contracts finished and get a reward. So we're a bounty hunter today, guys. Should be fun. And we'll see uh, see what we can do here. So I think the first person we will try to hunt down will be Caliph Scorpion Sting. I think we have seen him before already on the hunter. So pretty sure we can defeat him. Andre we have seen in uh, the cove over here, Lost Raider Cove. And we have not fought him yet, though. So that could be a challenge. We'll see how we do. So I have been thinking. I got a message from one of the viewers. I believe his name is Turtle. And he recommended a role-playing add-on for me. I don't know if you guys remember, but at the beginning of this Let's Play, I mentioned that we were on Grobulus, which is an RP PvP server. And he told me that I would probably get probably more interactions or more out of RP if I had this add-on. Because it kind of unites the role-playing community on the server together. And it also creates a profile for you, or you create a profile saying what type of RP or you are. Either you're like a hardcore RP or you RPs all the time. You know, sometimes you RP depending on the situation. You can also give a little profile of what your character is all about, which I thought was kind of interesting, so people know what to do when they come up to you. Is that Cali Scorpus thing? There we go. And right, we'll talk about the the RP later. So there's Cali. He looks like he's surrounded by rogues. All right, so let's uh, we'll shoot the rogue first. Can we hit the rogue? Looks like one's coming in. We're gonna get on Cali right away. There we go. Get him. Get Cali. I think we'll be okay with the rogue, maybe. Not too sure. Give it a try. Frost Trap's doing well. Do a little fall down. Aha! There we go. Drop dead, girl. Let's go get that head. There we go. It's one down. Couple more to go. Let's put this guy in a frost trap again. Get him! Get him! Alright, 
Piece of cake. Alright, so let's have a little drink here. Yeah, back to the role-playing add-on. I'm going to have to make a profile for it. And, um... I think I'm going to say that Trap and Trav used to be a Dwarven Rifleman. And he's... On, and I'll have to think about, like, a whole profile. I, I, I honestly don't have it all right now at the top of my head. But I'll try to f get a story going. And I guess we'll say he is uh, a former rifleman for the Dwarven Army. I'll probably have to look into the lore a little bit and, and describe what Dwarven clan he's a part of. And uh, maybe we'll say he's a part of the... I don't know, we'll have to think about what clan first. I have to look into the lore. But we'll say that he was a rifleman. And he retired. And he went to... Uh, to, uh, what's it called? Where's the, where the place where we started? He retired in Cold Ridge Valley. And eventually he got bored of sitting around drinking all day. So he decided to go on an adventure and explore the world of Azeroth. And he's made a couple of friends and a couple of enemies along the way. He does not like trolls. We'll say that. Um, who else does he not like? Does not like orcs either, but he respects them. And, uh, I would say he's aggressive. He will, uh, shoot if he sees the horde. He doesn't trust them. Put that up there. But we'll, we'll figure out a story. I'm, I'm a new bar peer, but I'm gonna try this best I can. And we've had a couple of uh, a couple of moments, you know. I think there was a time when we were in Ironforge and we met with the, the Dwarven Overlords and they were doing like a little RP meeting. Hopefully I didn't ruin it, but I tried to like take part by joining in in their square shape formation. And uh, I, th I thought that was kind of fun. He also did some RP at the beginning with a with a priest. He had a little RP chat. And it would be cool to kind of get into the uh, RP community here on Acropolis. I think you probably need to be in a guild to really experience it. I would probably have to join an RP style guild. But, uh... Yeah, it would be fun to check it out. And I think that add-on will help for sure. Because I believe that it probably tells you who's online in your server and what other characters are, uh, are part of your server and what they're all about. So if I ever see them, I, I'll have something to talk about with them if I read their profile, right? I'll be able to say, like, it's like I don't know, something that, that relates to them and their character. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'll, I'll show you guys the add-on next episode. I'll try to get it going. I, I actually want to get it going as well for uh, Squiddly Diddly. Our Draenei Shaman. Alright, so here we go. We're going to be fighting Andre Firebeard. Um, I guess we'll put down a Frost Trap. See what we pull here. Looks like we're pulling Andre. And Andre is the... Oh man, we're in trouble. This might not be good, guys. Getting shot by uh, this freebooter. I think we can do it, though. Comes Andre. Please don't pull more. Oh, we pulled more. <laughs> Damn it. This might be a runaway, guys. Oh, okay. All right, here you go, Tigger. This is your chance. This is your time to shine. Put down another trap for Andre. We're gonna need to have a pot here because uh, we're getting destroyed.
pick, pick them up, dude. Good thing is we're gonna have, uh, what's it called pretty soon. We're gonna have faint death again. Okay, Tigger, smack him up a bit. We're gonna bandage. Oh my gosh, dude. This is freaking wild. Trap this guy. It's time for Andre to die. Trav and Trav learned all these skills while he was a rifleman for the Alliance. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure out some type of story. I don't know. I should have done this earlier. I wish I got this add-on earlier. You could really create a persona for your character, which I think is kind of cool. I've I looked up a little bit about dwarven lore about how you're supposed to say things like your instead of your and all that type of ling lingo. But I, I'm still a, a big noob. And I think my writing could probably get a lot better. Every time I have an interaction, like an RP interaction, my writing is pr it's pretty poor, I would say, compared to the person I'm talking to. <laughs> so, I got a lot of work to do. But, if you don't try, you know, you'll never get better, so. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy I'm on the server. And that's the reason why I picked it. I thought it would be something new. But, to be honest, we haven't had much RP in a long time, guys. Like, probably had, like, five RP experiences. And it's probably because most of the people are in Outland, I would assume, right? And I would assume a lot of the RP events are going on probably in, uh, in the cities. I've seen one. That's, like, the only time we've really seen an RP event. So there we go. We got their heads. I, I was pretty damn fast. Hoping we get into a ZF soon. I'll be honest. I haven't had the the gusto or the the motivation to make my own group. So, but I know that's what's gonna take for me to get in there. So, we'll uh, I'll get that going. It's just the thing is that sometimes it takes like a couple of hours to even get a group going. So. Kind of got to plan it out. Give yourself some time. Yeah, maybe we should go back to the pirate place because we did... Um, we were hunting for the treasure map. And we don't have uh, the middle fragment yet. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go there and we are going to try to hunt for uh, for the middle part. You'd think we would have it by now because of how many pirates we've slain, but uh, yeah, we're having trouble getting the middle, the middle fragment. It'd be good to get that, and maybe we can go on a treasure hunt one of these episodes. Yeah, I'd say my dwarf is pretty, uh, he's up to snuff RP-wise. Like, he's, he's using a gun. That's pretty, that's dwarf-like, you know. Dwarves like to, uh, craft their own armor and, and their weapons. One thing I'd say that makes my dwarf a little unique is that his pet's a tiger. Most dwarfs, you know, usually have bears as pets. They're a hunter. But we chose to, uh, go with a tiger. could also say that maybe he's trying to be an archaeologist. 
He's trying to uncover the secrets of the dwarves. That's why we went to, uh... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the name of the dungeon. <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> that dungeon in the Badlands. I can't believe I already forgot it. I know it's not all dark, but that's what I want to call it. And I know it's not that, because that's the raid. Now we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll tell me on the map. Alderman. So we were close. Alderman, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I went to Alderman. Uncovered the... He's done some archaeology quests. He went to Alderman and he uncovered the secrets of the dwarves. Supposedly he found one of the, the biggest finds this century. So yeah. It's an impressive guy, Trap and Trap. So yeah, that's probably what I would say. Well, there's Sprites for Locker. We actually might get to put the map in here. There we go. We got the middle fragment, guys. Well, aren't we lucky? So let's uh, put this together. See what we get. Alright, so we got a map. This map shows a stretch of beach with a southern face. Below the map are words elegantly written. South of Weedle, south of home. Find a mast and flag and bones. Dig you there, if you be bold. Dig and claim Quagra's gold. A key you'll need, and a key you'll see. The men you face, take blood as feed. Alright, so... I think we'll save that, because that seems like it's going to be... a serious mission. Let's see where we have Quagra's gold here. It's a yellow, so we can can do it. South of Weedle. South of home. Find a mass and a flag of bones. South of Weedle. I wonder where Weedle would be considered to be. Th maybe Thousand Needles? That's tough to tell. I don't think it's on this side of the map. Maybe that means Thousand Needles south of Weedle. South of home. It's crazy how people figured out these, these quests. Like, that must have been awesome. Back in the day, like, you're just with a group of people and you're like, Hey guys, let's just figure this out. <laughs> Like, it takes a lot of thinking, you know, like, probably have to read some books or something, like, that are in the game, or have some ch chats with some people around. South of home. I don't know, what does that mean, south of home? Home can be, like, it's probably different, like, different for... Depends on who this person who wrote it is, south of their home. Steam Weedle. Steam Weedle Port. Wouldn't that be it? South of Steam Weedle. So yeah, it might be down here. South of, south of Weedle. That's what that would mean. South of home. Home is probably Steam Weedle Port. Maybe the Caverns of Time. Yeah, it's probably around here. I'm gonna... Should we go for it? Gee, no, it's probably... If it's not there, then... I don't know. If it's not there, that kind of sucks. But I don't... <laughs> we just go there. Ah, nothing there, guys. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be kind of rough. Plus, I don't want the episode to be too long. The last couple episodes have been uh, pretty damn long. But yeah, it is south of Weedle, which means it's probably around here. I 
Actually, you know what? We'll just do it. Let's go. Let's go do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, we're going south of Weedle, south of home. We're gonna... What else are we gonna do? We're gonna dig. Dig you there if you be bold. We gotta get a shovel then. Dig and claim Clara goes gold. How do we get a shovel? We need a shovel. You can't just dig in this game. Key you'll need and a fake key you'll see. The men you face take blood as fee. And then we get the Cuergo's hidden treasure. I think we may need to get a shovel. I wonder if they sell one in sell one in gadgets then. Yeah, we'll turn the we'll turn these quests in. Yeah, I know where it is. It's 100% down here. We just gotta go. The problem is... I think I need a shovel. But hey, Trap and Trav's an archaeologist. You know, so maybe he can just dig him... You know, he just pulls out the... The axe, and he just shovels with the axe. It would be a shame if we went there and, like, they're like, Oh, you need a shovel, dude. <laughs> I'd be so... I'd be so mad. I'd be like, why did I come all the way out here? So we're gonna see, like, if we can, uh... Who's Coergo? Is Coergo here? Steam Weedle Port? Makes me wonder. Maybe we have to have a little chat with Coergo. Because Coergo probably lives in Steam Weedle Port, right? Maybe he'll give us a shovel if we talk to him. Let's have a chat here with Chief Engineer Bilge was like. What's up? Alright, Devo. Oh yeah, we Be didn't good. do that yet. Time is One. money, Kelly friend. Sting. Yes, Hunter, I am official of the Gadgetan Water Company. What can I assist you with? Finally, justice is served. You have struck a mighty blow against the vile nomads. With Scorbid Sting's demise, this might be just the thing to finally push those squatters off of Gadgetan water wells. By the authority of Gadgetan Water Company, I gladly award you with this bounty. You've done a great service for us all. Keep it real. Keeping it real. So where do we turn this quest into? The... Firebeard one. Bring his head to Chief Bilgewizzle. That's who we just chatted with. Yeah, Chief Engineer. Why can't we turn it in? Don't we have his head? Yo! Do we have to get rid of this quest? Have a good one! There's his head right there. It's in my bags. So let's abandon... Uh, I guess we'll abandon the vinyl rod. Which I don't want to because we're going to... Hey, how you doing? Keep it real. Chief Bilgewizzle. Oh. There's another Bilgewizzle in Steam Weedle Port. Okay, so we got to go there. Okay, so let's go back there. I remember he has a brother. I forgot all about that. All right, so we're going to Steam Weedle Port. And we're going to see if we can get a shovel there. Or if we can find who Coergo is. Or maybe we can ask some questions. Should be good. we can get a shovel there, or at least, like, some assistance. Do 
Use this. It's undead warlock. His name's Lock God X. It's probably level 70. But it doesn't matter. We stand strong. If we're part of the alliance. I'm not gonna show fear. I wonder why he's chilling in Steam Lido Port. Let's have a chat with the uh, security. What's up? You look a little dazed. Have you been reading our legal documents? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Andre's head. So I guess he'll make his trial after all. Much appreciated, Trav and Trav. Now, if you'll just sign here, I can issue you payment for services rendered. Don't worry about the small print. It's harmless, and I don't think there's a magnifying glass small enough to read it anyway. Have a good one. Interesting. All right, so where's Cuergo? That's what I want to know. Imagine I shot him here. Oh my gosh, shoot! shoot. He's probably 52 pallet. Daze me. Damn, that was nice. Freeze. Haha, <laughs> see you later. Well, good thing is we got him to use bubble. He's gonna summon his warhorse. Why don't why aren't we attacking him? Why aren't you attacking him, dude? Get him off his warhorse. Get dazed. I'm kite. Oh my gosh, why can't I? Alright, trap again. Hopefully it works. I'm running back this way. Dude, dude, attack him, dude. Attack him. <laughs> I just can't let him. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Mr. Paladin? I was a rifleman for the Alliance. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> this is hilarious. Not only is he a rifleman, he's an architect. One of the greatest Alliance architects. <laughs> that guy got wrecked. Oh my gosh, dude. Level 52 Paladin just got wrecked. Alright. That was awesome. He'll be back, though. Uh. Yeah, it looks like kiting that great white tiger in Stranglethorn Vale paid off. Taught us a valuable lesson in PvP. Yeah, it looks like there's no guy named Cuergo here. I got what you need. How do they sell shovels here? Doesn't look like it. The thing is, I don't want to go there. Do I have a deal for you? And they're like, yeah. Be good. You gotta bring a shovel, man. What you want? See ya later. All right. Well, doesn't look like there's a guy named Cuergo living here. And it doesn't look like we can purchase a shovel. So I think the plan is... Probably do it next episode. Because this episode's been getting... Uh, it's been going on for a little longer than I thought it would. And if we actually went down there now, it would probably be over an hour. So I might save this for next episode, just in case we don't get a group for ZF. Which could be a possibility. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always... Thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.